Courtney Cox here with Doug Kide and Doug, it's time for your weekly mailbag. The Patriots have the Texans here at Gillette on Saturday. It's playoff season, so let's get right to it. We've got some questions. Uh, first off, we've got Ricky Easter Jr. wants to know what Patriot do you think will have a bigger than usual impact in Saturday night's game? That is a good question, and my answer might be a little bit unexpected, but I actually think that Julian Edelman could have a, a bigger than expected huh. game here. Uh, just because, you know, there are some injuries at wide receiver. Malcolm Mitchell's banged up. Danny is coming off an injury. So this could be a game where Edelman has a game, I guess, kind of similar to the one that he had in Week 17, over 100 yards, could have 10 catches. I think that he kind of limited his snaps a little bit towards the end of the season, even in the middle of the season. So he could be right back up there towards 100% of offensive snaps and, and really be that, that main key on offense. On defense, I think that Kyle Van Noy could have a, a bigger game than some people expect, especially if the Patriots allow him to rush the passer more. He has not done that a whole lot recently. If he is able to get after the passer. I think that he could do a lot of damage there. All right, let's move on. We've got Bruce Kennerson one. Do you think the Pats will try and re-sign Floyd for next year? If yes, what type of contract short term? Uh, I think they will absolutely try to re-sign Michael Floyd, and I think that it's really in his best interest to lock back on with the Patriots on a one-year prove-it deal. I think that's probably the best situation for both sides. Floyd obviously had some off-the-field issues this season, arrested on the DUI charge. If he's able to come in next season, have a monster year, then he'll still be young. Entering free agency, he could get a big deal from another team. So I think that they'll certainly try, and I think that they could probably get it done pretty easily here. All right, well, last but certainly not least, my favorite Twitter handle of them all, at ChaseDog2, <laughs> wants to know, do the Patriots cover the record-setting spread? I think they do. Um, it's a 16-point spread, but I really do expect the Patriots to demolish the Texans. They beat them 27-0 without Tom Brady, with rookie quarterback Jacoby Brissett at quarterback. And not a whole lot has changed since then on the Texans, so I really do expect this to be a, a massacre here on the Gillette Stadium field on Saturday night. All right. Well, there you have it. Doug, as always, great answers. And if you want to ask Doug a question, make sure to tweet at him at Doug Kide and keep it locked in right here at Nesson.com for all your Patriots needs.